Hi, my name is David Lopez, and I make comedic skits online. I have over 4 million followers across all my platforms, and I've done, you know, probably 20 to 30 different kind of brands, you know, activations throughout my, you know, career. My general approach to working with brands is just uh, listening up to what they have to say and see what direction they're trying to go, and then just implement my, um, my style, like, if it's comedy, um, I try to work with a brand that they have their you know point that they're trying to bring across, but I'm also trying to um, make it organic to my audience, so we try to do that. I would say my biggest challenge is constantly creating content, like having to come up with new ideas, fresh ideas, um, trying to be original, trying to continually make people laugh. There's a it's. It's a really hard to, um, I guess a lot of people don't understand is that we're always creating, at least I am. Other influencers, they have, you know, there's different styles, but at least I'm always trying to create something new and original and funny and to come up with so many ideas, you know, sometimes it takes a toll on you. Uh, my advice to brands that uh, approach social media influencers, I would say really try to work with them on what's organic to the actual influencer. Like what does their audience know? Because if you try to come and just be like, hey, do it like this, and it's not you know, organic to their profile, then their audience won't react you know, well to it. You, gotta, you wanna be organic. Yeah, I got involved with the campaign because you know, um, a company niche um, came up and I work with Niche a lot and they you know introduced me to the peanuts board um, campaign and I just wanted to be a part of it because I see you know uh, everything that was going it was really cool I saw some of the other videos and I just really wanted to um, you know join because it seemed it was a very funny and I like peanuts and it was also like a cool combination of things so for me when I saw it it just made sense to be a part of it and then also to come up with the ideas I just you know, I just uh, saw the other videos, saw the direction that they wanted to go, and I said, okay, I got an idea, and I just, you know, constantly, my mind's always working, trying to come up with new ideas, so I came up with something that made sense to them, and it was, you know, good for my audience, and, you know, it was cool, so we ended up shelling out. The most success and engagement with my content is to try to make it organic and funny. So if I can implement even a brand into my content and it's still organic and it's still funny, my audience loves it. I watch a lot of like comic book um, stuff, I guess, and I like uh, How It Should Have Ended is a cool YouTube channel. Um, Comics Explain, he probably doesn't even know who I am, but I watch him all the time. Emergency Awesome. They just, I, for me, I like those channels. Uh, they're funny and entertaining to me. Um, not a lot of people might know who they are, but I like them. Um, I would say one of the biggest mistakes someone can make is um, if they try to, I guess, not be sensitive to what's going on, I guess, in the world. Like for me, I just try to keep it simple. I keep it comedy. I don't try to talk about anything else. I think once you start trying to be a spokesman for something, you can really make a mistake. I just just keep it purely entertainment. My channels are purely entertainment. They're family friendly. That's another thing. I think if you try to go past the family friendly, a lot of brands might not work with you because you're not making content that is suitable for everyone. So I just try to keep it simple. My channels are for entertainment purposes only and I just keep it clean, family friendly. Family friendly. Honestly, I don't, um, pay too much attention to what's going on on the other social media, you know, people, I guess, all the time. I really keep focus on me and my family and, my, you know, my close friends and some of the influence I know. Um, but, I, you know, I did hear some things, and like I said, it, you always want to keep it family friendly. You know, you always want to keep it um, to your style, but you got to just watch out what you say and what you do because um, we're influencers. We are influencing people but we also have to be very careful and that's I've done my best to be really careful and keep it always family friendly like I said I, I guess I'm kind of like the Disney Channel um, in a way uh, I just try to learn from you know those companies because I'm not you know a spokesman I'm not um, 
someone that's gonna cross the line. I'm just gonna keep it, you know, simple, like I said, entertainment and keep it family friendly.